10 Aircraft You Can Fly Without a License Since the dawn of man, we've wanted to be able to fly. We wanted to see what it was like to be a bird, even for a single day. That's when the Wright brothers made that dream a reality. On December 17, 1903, the first airplane was constructed and man soared to the skies. It was a glorious day. Whether for transportation or for sport enthusiasts, flying has been a huge part of our lives ever since. But some of us have no time to get a license. So we looked around and we found out that there is this aircraft category titled light sport aircraft. And we started wondering what are the best light sport aircraft for 2020? So we created the 10 aircraft you can fly without a license. Let's begin, shall we? Number 10, Airbike. One of the light sport aircraft that you can fly, which require no license, is the Airbike. Designed by ISON, the Airbike easily meets the US FAR 103 ultralight vehicle's requirements with a 254 pound empty weight. The engine it uses to operate includes the 28 horsepower Rotax 277 or the 22 horsepower Zenoa G25, both of which are lightweight engines. Its name is derived from the sitting position of the driver, whose feet are rested on two pedals, just like on an average bike. The model features parasol wings made from wood and then covered with aircraft fabric, and the fuselage is made from welded 4130 steel. The landing gear is conventional. If you like our first pick, just wait to see what we have in store for you. Number 9. Mosquito Air the Mosquito Air is a Canadian ultralight aircraft and it is designed to seat only one person. Just like the Airbike, the Mosquito Air also has an empty weight of 254 pounds. It uses the Zanzatera MZ201 double cylinder engine for flying, which allows it to reach a maximum speed of 63 miles per hour and a rate of climb that is equal to 790 feet per minute. Its fuselage is made from bolted-together 6061 T6 aluminum tubing with a carbon fiber tail boom and support struts. You should also note that the cockpit has no windshield. Another interesting fact about it is that when you buy it, the aircraft is supplied in the form of a kit so you can construct your own plane. Number 8. Quad City Challenger with this model, we dive deeper into the big league of cooler aircrafts that were first introduced in 1983. The Quad City Challenger is a two-person aircraft that requires no light sport aircraft license. With a maximum speed of 100 miles per hour and a price tag of around $32,000, this model is exceptional for flying enthusiasts. When you buy this model, it comes in four different subkits with major parts like the fuselage, wing structures, and controls already constructed by the company. This Challenger model comes in six different variants. The almost doubled rate of climb and a wingspan of 31 feet make this an exquisite model altogether. Did you enjoy our first three picks? If you did, don't forget to destroy that thumbs up button. We appreciate it. Number seven, Aerolite 103. The Aerolite 103 is one of the best home-built aircraft, plus the company couldn't be prouder of their design. It is ultralight, which not only requires no license, but it has no age restriction on it either. Designed by Terry Raber in 1997 and constructed by Aeroworks Incorporated, this model was discontinued after 2005, when the manufacturer went bankrupt. But the license for construction was purchased by You Fly It, Light Sport Aircraft LLC in 2013. The aircraft's empty weight ranges from 252 pounds on the low end and 300 pounds on the high end, with 275 being the usual weight. It uses 35 horsepower, 2 SI 460 535 engine, which allows it to reach speeds up to 75 miles per hour and a rate of climb of 800 feet per minute. Number six, Ultraflight Lazair. This is another Canadian aircraft that was being sold in the form of kits during the period between 1979 and 1984. Its father is Dale Kramer, who got inspired to construct the Lazare after visiting the Oshkosh EAA convention in 1977. The aircraft is a single seat and an empty weight of 210 pounds. 
The engine the Lazare operates is the 9.5 horsepower Rotax 185. The wing is mounted at the top and has no windshield. It's famous for its low speed handling and very gentle sail characteristics. It was one of the most popular light sports aircrafts in Canada until it got discontinued due to insurance costs and liability concerns. But still, aircraft enthusiasts like them for their cruising speeds and handling qualities. Number 5. Kolb Firefly The open cockpit, one-person Kolb Firefly is an ultralight aircraft that meets the US FAR 103 ultralight requirements. The empty weight is 253 pounds, but the gross weight can reach a weight of up to 500 pounds. It is much larger in size than other ultralight aircrafts, but with good reason. It has a cruise speed of 60 miles per hour and a maximum speed of 70 miles per hour. It was intended to use the 40 horsepower Rotax 447 engine, which is heavier compared to the engine which was used in the beginning. The much weaker 28 horsepower Rotax 277. So, what does that design include? A forward fuselage of welded 4130 steel tubing mated to an aluminum tail boom. One great feature of the Firefly is the foldability of its wings, which makes it a great fit for people with little to no storage room at home. Number 4. Phantom X-1 Here we are featuring one of the exceptional home-built aircrafts available in kit form. We chose this model because it won a design award and attracted a huge crowd after it was first introduced at the Sun and Fun convention in 1982. The 40 horsepower Rotax 447 twin cylinder makes it one hell of an option for purchasing. It can reach speeds of up to 61 miles per hour and cruise speeds of 55 miles per hour. Because of its great design, the Phantom X1 was greatly copied by manufacturers, and some of the copies include Bell Sidewinder, High Tex Hurricane 103, the Golden Gate Mosquito, and others. Did you know that there is also an X2 model which is capable of carrying two people? The Phantom X1 comes with a variety of engines from 40 to 64 horsepower. If you are an adrenaline junkie, then the Phantom X1, paired with a 64 horsepower engine, would be a great fit for you. Number 3. Hummel Ultra Cruiser can you believe this unbelievably elegant piece of aircraft falls in the category of ultralights? It is manufactured and supplied by Hummel Aviation, and you can choose whether you want it to be delivered in kit form or ready to fly mini airplane. The Ultra Cruiser has a cantilever low wing, a single seat, open or closed, and conventional or tricycle landing gear. The usual engine power range is between 24 and 45 horsepower and the engine used most often is the 37 horsepower half VW four-stroke power plant. The Hummel Ultra Cruiser has 100 models built and flown in 2011. It comes in two models, the Ultra Cruiser and the Ultra Cruiser Plus. With an ultra high rate of climb around 1000 feet minimum and a cruise speed of 60 miles per hour, the Ultra Cruiser is hard to pass. Number two, Quicksilver MX-103. Here is a true legend when it comes to ultralight aircrafts. The Quicksilver MX-103 is produced by Quicksilver Aircraft from California. This model has been in production since the late 70s, and it still continues to sell to this day. The earlier versions of ultralight planes needed to be started atop a hill, but the Quicksilver was initially designed for those who live in the flatlands and had no hills nearby. The model was designed by Dick Iper when hang gliding was popular. The Iper hang glider was very different to most of the conventional models, and in the following years, Iper decided to add a seat, wheel, and small engine on his very popular hang glider. Thus, the Quicksilver Ultralight was born. Today, there are nine operational Quicksilver models. The engine on the Quicksilver MX-103 is the 40 horsepower Rotax 447, and it reaches a speed of 55 miles per hour. As we said, this model is a legend among ultralight aircrafts. Number 1. The Fly Nano Our number one pick is great for those who love the sea as well as the skies. The Fly Nano is a Finnish ultralight aircraft that can be used as a mini boat as well. The electric-powered engine makes this ultralight eco-friendly and easy to maintain. 
Unlike some of our previous models, the Ultralight comes in a ready-to-use form. You don't have the option to build your own. It's made from carbon fiber and weighs a measly 154 pounds, which is 100 pounds less than our previous models. Because it's used on water, this model does not have a landing gear and can fit only one person. It has a 15.7 feet wingspan with no flaps and a cockpit without a windshield. It can reach an incredible speed of 87 miles per hour, which for those of you who are into fast and light sport aircrafts, make this Fly Nano a true disruptor in its field. What models have you driven in the past? Do you own one of these at home? Please tell us in the comments section. We love going through all of them. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of any future updates. Thanks for watching, guys.